I'm doing a third video on maintenance because there's a lot of questions that are coming through still. If you are being denied contact and you think that by stopping paying maintenance is the correct way to do that, then you are asking for a hiding. Just because the other side is being idiot of the universe does not mean that you can also be one. You know, two wrongs uh, a right does not make. So what I'm saying to you is, is if you are being denied contact and you feel that by stopping maintenance, this is the correct path to take. It's not. I can tell you, it doesn't matter how brilliant an evidence of abuse and neglect and uh, a child endangerment that you might have. The courts go very, very, very deaf immediately once they hear that uh, maintenance is not being paid. I get that you are frustrated and that the court system is not working uh, effectively, efficiently and fast enough for you. But as I said, two, rights, uh, two wrongs do not make a right. The other thing is, is that you cannot just stop paying maintenance because you have run, run out of money or you've uh, lost your job or your business is closed down. If you have lost your job or you've run out of money or whatever the case may be, you have to approach the maintenance court for a reduction or a stop put on the maintenance for the duration of the period that you are unemployed or not making money. You cannot just arbitrarily stop the maintenance. You are asking for a hiding. Is this right? No, it isn't. We get it. We understand it. But the objective here is, is that you need to keep your side of the slate clean. Okay, I get that you, that I, I get it. And these last four years have been absolutely brutal, brutal, brutal. Coupled with a failed uh, economic system that's running, run in South Africa, coupled with an idiocracy for a government, They've just compounded the, the, the business world and employment world in such diabolically negative ways. It is unbelievable. But just because you have external pressures does not mean that, mean that you can just arbitrarily stop your maintenance. Do the right thing. Approach the courts. Here is your termination of employment. Here is the bank details of my business going bang, whatever it is that you need to prove. Okay, and ask the courts for, if you are getting some money in, ask for a reduction with the clear understanding that there would be back payments once you are restored to full financial stability. Don't just arbitrarily stop paying maintenance. The other thing is, is that where you are being denied contact, guys, let's make this clear once again. Contact does not equal maintenance. Maintenance is about the upkeep of the child, irrespective of whether you're seeing the child or not. Is it unfair? One trillion percent. I 100% agree with you. It's unfair. But you cannot punish your child because the other side has the brain of a dead slug. Okay, you cannot punish your child because your ex is a child abuser. Okay, because they are too stupid to grow up and take responsibility and say, I had this child with this person. Let me take, let me, irrespective of my feelings for the other parent, I must allow the child to continue its relationship with that parent. Only brain dead, stupid, ignorant, childish, immature, child abusers stop the other side from seeing the child. And obviously when I'm talking to you guys, guys, whenever I'm talking to you, this is always in the absence of quantifiable, measurable, defined, provable in a court of law evidence of violence, abuse, or neglect. If there's violence, abuse, or neglect, guys, you need to contact us so we can start protecting you and putting the necessary protections in place. I'm talking about those stupid morons 
that thinks it's a fucking funny game to destroy your child, to abuse your child by denying them right of contact. The other thing that I want to talk about is any maintenance paid. Guys, you've got to take out a file, every slip, every bank statement, every payment to the school for five rand for uh, charity day or whatever the case may be, must be documented. It must be written down. If it's not documented, if it's not written, if it's not signed off, and if it's not made a final order of court, it didn't happen. It's that simple. Maintenance must be within the fair, reasonable earnings of both parents. Maintenance is not about hairdos and holidays to the Maldives. It's about maintaining the child from uh, home, clothing, school, food, medical aid and extramural activities. It's not for luxuries. It's about maintaining your child. It must be within the reasonable earning capacity of both parents. And it's either 50-50 or pro rata, depending on whether there is a higher earner of, of the two parents. Where you give cash to the other side, a cash component, you must write down the amount. You must get a signature for that amount. I don't care how many times you give them cash. If there is no acknowledgement of receipt of that money, it didn't happen. Create a file by month and you file everything. Payment for school, medical aid, food, transport, insurance, you name it. And you need to keep that file up to date. You also need to back up your files up to the cloud and either give a family member and or your lawyer access to that cloud in case something happens to you. We do not have offices. We operate virtually around the country. We are able to assist you on a national basis. If you want to come and visit, it can be arranged, but then that's, there's an additional charge to have a face-to-face -face meeting. Uh, the costs, the idea behind us not having offices is we are trying to keep our costs to an absolute minimum and that we are offering effective, cost-effective, efficient service on a national basis. We obviously push mediation. Mediation is the adult way to go. If you want to have a consultation with us, the contact details are in the message below, guys. Okay. Email, website, contact page, uh, cell phone, WhatsApp number. Please like, share and subscribe. Please get the message out there. I love you all.